Hey guys, we're excited to start our vacation in New York City. We're headed all the way to Los Angeles, California. We're gonna be taking the Lakeshore Limited, California Zephyr, and the Coast Starlight. Some epic journeys coming up. In today's video, we'll take you along as we go from New York City to Chicago on the Lakeshore Limited. We take a couple of days to explore Chicago before we board the California Zephyr for a ride across the country, and we are treated to a surprise in Colorado as we enter the gorges. Then we're on to Emeryville, where we have one night to enjoy the area, and then we bring you along on the Coast Starlight as we finish up on our vacation in Los Angeles, California. But before we hop on the train, we start our journey in the Metropolitan Lounge in Moynihan Train Hall. All right, we're here in one of our favorite Metropolitan lounges, and one of the things that we really like about it is they do have not just um, cold food, but they also have hot food as well. So I got a couple sandwiches for us. One is a, a Santa Fe um, chicken. I think of this one. Yeah, look at that one. Santa Fe chicken, and then um, this one is spicy cheese. Look at that. That looks really good with fig. Um, with fig spread, so I'm gonna be eating that. That sounds really good. And then we have this um, Caesar, chicken Caesar pinwheel, and we've got these chips. And let me tell you right now, if you're here and you get an opportunity to try these chips and you don't mind something spicy, these are amazing. Um, they also had uh, strawberry and mint infused water, and then they also have unsweetened tea, which is a no-no in the South, but they have some um, flavor syrups that you can use to flavor it for different things. Today I did mango and then they have some uh, cane syrup if you want to sweeten it. So um, I fixed that and I think we're going to dig in and enjoy this fun little spread. So we usually arrive about an hour early to Moynihan Train Hall to allow for some time to enjoy the Metropolitan Lounge. From there, they announce the arrival of our train and it is time to board. So we go down the escalator and walk down the platform to our train. We quickly find our train car and board the train here. There is usually staff members. Uh, there are usually staff members around to help you find your room or if you need any assistance boarding the train. Take a quick peek here at the accessible room before we head down the hallway and past the bedrooms here and just around the corner. The next hallway is all of the roomettes and we're in this very first one right here so we are ready to take off here before too long everyone is boarded and we are ready to take off and say goodbye
Okay, so we are in a brand new Viewliner 2 on the Lakeshore Limited from New York to Chicago. So I want to give you a little tour here because this is such an incredible room. Um, now, Viewliner 1, Viewliner 2, um, probably the main difference between a Viewliner 1 and a Viewliner 2 is right here. So here in a Viewliner 2, you would normally have a toilet in the room, um, whereas you do not have that here. Here on the Viewliner 2, which is what's nice about it too is, look at that, you got storage space underneath. So instead of a commode taking up that whole spot, you've got storage underneath and a better step for the person going above, which in this case is Rob. Um, and so here's the other step, and here's what we also have here. So you still have the sink, which is really nice. And check this out. So if you're looking at the sink, you're like, well, that doesn't really look like a sink. There's no drain there. There isn't a drain there because this is this little cutout that's actually going to be your drain so you use your the, your sink do what you're going to do and then it actually drains when you tilt it back and so you saw that red light there when this is um, on then that's kind of a signal to wrap up above if like if i have all the lights off or whatever that's going to signal him up above to not come down and put his foot <laughs> inside the sink. Um, from here also you can control the mirror light which is this one right here. There's also a switch up there for Rob and then you've got your uh, two outlets over here which is fantastic and then they do give you some hand soap and I don't know if you saw this in here but there's a little a little shelf right there where you can put your your hand soap so that's great so once you open this it's not gonna be in the way so you can store that in there and then you've got um, washcloth and hand towels and then when you use the shower the actual towels are going to be down there in the shower so that's this whole area here let's talk about this seat here so this of the two seats this one is the narrowest because of the space that this is taking up. And again, in a Viewliner 1, this would be a commode. And then in this Viewliner 2, it is um, just a step in storage underneath. You've got your area light here, which is this one. And then you've got a reading light there, which is this one. Just depends on what type of light you want in the room. And then I love this event here, because while you're seated here, um, just enjoying the ride, you can get that nice cool air coming up um, and then I'll show you in a second on the other side where you can control that you can turn that on and off now we're gonna come over to this side we'll talk about these sheets here in just a second but look at how much wider um, this seat is and then you've got your trash bin right here huge trash bin which normally it's a little tiny one um, so that's nice to have that huge trash bin. You have the lights over here and then, or the air vent over here. And then let me show you this great, nice little area here, table. Look at that, this huge. And you can either use it like that or you can use it this way too. And there's still plenty of room. You could eat your meal here if you wanted and you would still have plenty of room for that and it's super sturdy which I really like but in the meantime you've got this little shelf here which is where we keep our phones and other cameras and such you do get water um, unlimited waters so you've got little cup holders for the water down here too and then on this side you've got that area light and reading light and then you also have the attendant um, push the attendant button call button right here so if you push that there's a light outside your room that blinks that lets him know who hit the attendant button and then this is the PA speaker control so if you want to hear the announcements um, then you would want that on if you don't want to hear them then you turn that off now to have it off you want it to be flush if you want to hear the announcements then push it in and so when it's depressed in then that means that it's going to be on now over here is this nice shelf so i've got this nice big backpack sitting on this great shelf right there look at that um and i can actually store this underneath or above if i wanted to but i've got um all this space here you've got two more outlets here holy moly that's a lot of charging and then here is another air vent and this one is more of a um like car style uh, vent so you can go up and down just like you can in a car and side to side and then also like in a car you can go ahead and shut it off 
or open it all the way up. And then you've got an actual thermostat right here that keeps control of the temperature in the room. Right now it says it's set to 71 um, and then you can move it up and down from there. So this is actually incredible. You've got another uh, space here for storage as well. Um, and Rob will show you some more up above when he shows you his upstairs penthouse in a minute. But this is, uh, you get two hangers and you can um, hook them right here and you can store some things there. Now on the door here behind me, You've got a curtain here because there's a window here. There's a window here on the door. And now in between, you've got ceiling light here and night light there. And then you do also have lock on this side here. So you can lock it, just go ahead and flip it and the door doesn't open when you have it up, then the door will open for you. So that's the downstairs. It's time for Rob to show you what it looks like in his penthouse up there. Welcome to the upstairs portion of the Viewliner 2 roomette. I'm so excited that we got this Viewliner 2 roomette today because it is, in my opinion, the best, uh, the best roomette on Amtrak. And uh, as you can see, one of the best features is that it has these beautiful windows. I've got two windows here. I can close the, the, the blinds if I want to. And I just love having that. When you're on a Superliner, you don't get any windows. It's just you're looking at the wall up here. So it's not as much fun to be up here. I love that. The second feature of this Viewliner 2 roomette that is just amazing is how much space there is. So I am sitting pretty much straight up right now and my head is not touching. If you're kind of, if you're kind of to the side, there's a little bar that runs in the middle here that you might hit your head on. But if you sit over here to the side, I, can st I could stick my head up another two, three inches and uh, and not even hit. So I'm sitting straight up, totally comfortable. You totally can't do that on a super liner either. I'm about five foot nine. So if you were about six foot or less, you would you'd be able to sit up here without having to bend down or anything. Uh, so that is great, tons of room. The other great thing about this is all the storage. So there is a, a luggage rack up here and it's made for suitcases, but we usually check our bags. And then I store my backpack up here and my camera bag. And that way, if I need anything in the night, if I need to grab my computer or I wanna work on my iPad, something like that, I can just grab it out of there. Leave my headphones in there, maybe a couple of snacks, and you're good to go, right? So uh, we've also got this little pouch right here which is really handy if you have glasses because those can really get misplaced in the night and you can sit your phone there uh, you know one of the things on the train is you're always wanting to kind of keep track of stuff in the night when you're sleeping and the phone is one thing that tends to, to, to get lost it could slide through the cracks and fall all the way down to the bottom so you don't want that I stick it right in this little pouch of course I've got a reading light I've got an attendant call button some air conditioning there and basically on this Viewliner 2, you have everything upstairs that you would have downstairs. And that is not the case on the other ones. So that's why this is the best one. Uh, and I just love it. Now you do have this harness safety strap. It's a little weird. I couldn't figure it out at first because you hook these two in and then it doesn't really look safe at all because it looks like you could just go right through there but when you do if you were to if you were to fall on this this would spread out and catch you uh it just doesn't look like it would so i'm not going to test that out in the night hopefully uh, i've never fallen off of it but i'm pretty sure it would catch you it just doesn't feel like it would be a fun experience <laughs> maybe getting back out of it afterwards and then you know the other thing about this that's really a nice feature is is the steps the stairs and a lot of sleeper trains you're just gonna have like a ladder system and it's gonna be like a metal rung ladder that kind of hurts your feet honestly when you're getting down in the middle of the night i've actually fallen once and kind of hurt myself uh, over in europe doing that on one of them and not the case here because there's two huge giant steps that we're going to step on and that's these steps right here and you can't miss those even if it's dark in the night you're not going to miss those and so it's really easy to get down uh and i just kind of stick always my i'll put like slippers or you know something down there that i can slip on in the night because 
like she said there's no toilet in this room so you will have to go down the hallway uh, but not a problem super easy to get up and down this and i'm excited to be here tonight because this is my favorite uh, of all the roomettes Okay, so here is the dinner situation on the Lakeshore Limited. Uh, what they do is they split it up into two shifts here. Now, each uh, train is gonna be a little bit different depending um, on uh, you know the timing and everything. We're on time, so they are gonna split it into two because we'll be getting to Albany and have kind of 45 minute fresh air break, 40, 45 minutes for us today. Um, fresh air break there, so we're starting dinner around, they start started it at 4.30 and they're going to run it till about 5.45. Then they're going to shut it down and reopen it at 7. So we've elected not to do the early dinner. We're going to wait and do it um, till after we do the Albany stop, which is really nice. Now uh, for the dinner on this particular train, which is the Lakeshore Limited, um, each crew does it a little bit different on this. Um, this particular crew has chosen to just do like open so they have their open time and you can go and have dinner anytime during that open time so there could be a lot of people going at the time that you want to go or not it just depends and they just kind of go with the flow on that um, in some trains they'll have you do like reserve a certain a certain time so every crew does it a little bit different um, so it's kind of just something to keep in mind um, as you move along on your train ride and they haven't given us a menu yet, so we don't really know what it's gonna be. Pretty sure it's flexible dining though still on Lakeshore Limited. And I am hoping there is andouille sausage. That was on there a few years ago and I took it away. I hope it's made a comeback. We'll see in a few minutes. So gonna give you a quick update on our stop. So we are stopped here just past Poughkeepsie and um we've been here for quite a for i don't know 10 15 minutes and then the conductor came on and said uh, there's an accident with a different train up ahead and they're cleaning that up so we're going to be here for at least another 30 minutes so we're out here on the track there's actually another train here as well waiting for the cleanup up ahead so everybody's just kind of walking around stretching their legs and just getting some fresh air while we can <laughs> it is a beautiful station so uh, it's a good one to be stuck at there's some cool houses over here and the weather is just gorgeous today yes, it's and so good <laughs> upstate new york in the spring you really can't beat that no that's really good <laughs> well we've gotten some fresh air and since we're sitting here waiting they did keep the dining room open a little bit longer so we decided since it's 6 15 that's pretty much dinner time so we're gonna come and uh we're gonna have our dinner here we'll show you what we get here in just a second so let's take a look at what our menu options are. It is flexible dining and we've got uh, five different entrees to choose from for dinner. We've got the uh, slow braised beef short ribs, enchiladas, chicken a la rosa, sesame glazed salmon, and pasta and meatballs. And we also have our beverages here. You do have unlimited uh, like soft drinks and juices and water. And then you each get one alcoholic beverage per person per ride. Okay, so let's take a look at what Rob and I chose. I, of course, picked the salmon with jasmine rice and veggies. I've got my, it, all the dishes come with a side salad and you also get a roll as well as dessert. Now they've had, this is a new one. It's a butter cake, Rob took his out. It's a butter cake uh, pastry out of a um, bakery in Delaware. So that's gonna be interesting. Also, Rob got the pasta and meatballs. Um, and he got his salad and his roll as well. So we're gonna dig into this because it looks good, it smells good, and I'm thinking it's gonna taste good. I went with the old favorite pasta and meatballs. You can never go wrong with the Amtrak pasta and meatballs. If you're on a flexible dining, that's my choice. Allie will tell you to get the salmon, but 
this is where it's at, so this is pretty good. I wonder if it's hot. Oh, they're pretty hot. <laughs> but very, very good. So, and there is a train next to us, another Amtrak train. They're stuck here too, waiting for this uh, accident to get cleared up ahead of us. And apparently the line is so long in the cafe over there that people are jumping off of that train, coming into our train to the dining car and trying to get uh, beverages from the staff here. So they had a pretty good laugh about that. But we are some of the only people in here. There's only a few people in the dining car here for us. So we are uh, just having a nice dinner and enjoying that, enjoying just a little bit of a view <laughs> of the lake, but not much. And uh, hopefully we'll get back rolling here pretty soon. Mm. There's cream here in the middle. That looks quite good, actually. so it's easier to eat. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Cream filling. Butter cake, it says. We get this question a lot about tipping and we just ate dinner so i thought i'd cover it generally people leave two to three dollars per person per meal so we just ate and we split the difference in lots of five and there are two attendants in there so we just leave it each uh, meal instead of at the end and then with the uh, room attendant we do either five or ten dollars per person per night so that's what we do with tipping and that's totally up to everyone though. You don't have to tip or you could tip more than that if you wanted to. The big question on everybody's mind is how much? How much did it cost? So I'm gonna break that down for you. We actually use points to buy this trip and it cost us 22,500 Amtrak Guest Rewards points. Now, if we had paid for it, it would have been about $600 total for the two of us overnight from we're going all the way from uh, new york to chicago so it would have been about 600 translate that to points it was 22,000. you can do it either way if you're not in the amtrak guest rewards that's a good reason to do it because we're doing quite a few trips this uh this summer and we got about half of them for free with points so that is a good deal but 600 dollars that includes your meals and we also got access to the Metropolitan Lounge for free and had some good meals in there as well. Okay, so you're probably wondering, are they gonna sleep in those seats? No. So we've got our two beds that we showed you earlier. So the lower, the two uh, seats here, these are going to slide in. I'm gonna do that here in just a minute and show you what that looks like. And this is the bottom bed and the mattress for that bed is up above. Uh, stored up there during the day bring that down put it down here and it's got the sheets and everything on it and the pillow We'll bring that down here. That'll be my bed And then as Rob showed you earlier we turn this pull it down and his bed is already set up up there So pretty easy peasy for the most part, but um, You can just have your attendant do this for you We just do it because we never know when we want to go to bed So we just make ours ourselves, but your attendant will take care of putting this together But should you want to do it yourself? this is how you do it so there's a lever down here that you have to push and then as you're pushing that you're pulling this out once you release that then you can just press here and it'll slide down it's usually how i do it i don't know if the attendants do it that way but that's how i do it same thing on the other side put on that lever press and then let's see, we can get this side down. Now the second side is usually a little bit harder than the first side because there's not as much space. But you just keep pulling and then make sure you're pressing on that little lever as you're doing it. Still trying. Hang on. There we go. All right, it's coming down. Press, press, press. And now we're ready for mattress. I'm going to grab that from up above. I'm going to lower this just a little. Just enough room. Whoop! 
<laughs> We're making a mess here. Pull that pillow down. And now, go ahead and grab this mattress from here. And bring it down. Down, down, down. To the bottom of the sea. Here. Now I gotta find which side is the thin side. So this goes this way. Okay, almost there. Get this all situated right here. And you'll still have your space on the ledge here by the window. So that's your bed here. And as I mentioned earlier, if you don't want that thick sheet, this one is nice and thin. You can practically see right through it. So if you need just something real thin like that, you're good to go with this one. And then you just put uh, your pillow right there. Here. Ta-da! And I'm ready to go. Um, like I said, Rob's is already set up up here. I want to make sure I get one of these blankets, though. I don't want Rob to take both blankets because these are so great. I just love these. They're so soft. Um, so that's it. That's how you set it up for nighttime. Okay, Allie is asleep and it is getting pretty late. So I'm going to go to bed too. We're still a little jet lagged uh, from our Italy trip. So it's time to turn these lights off and get ready to go to sleep. And we will see you tomorrow at breakfast. Good night. Well, good morning. <laughs> we slept quite well. Looks like we made up a little bit of time last night, but we're still running a little bit late, but it is breakfast time. We are uh, in Toledo, Ohio here, stopped for a few moments, and we've got our breakfast. I'm having the three egg omelet, and it's got some veggies and cheese inside. Comes with sausage and some potatoes, and I've had this before, and it is quite tasty. And then we've got the flexible dining railroad French toast and it comes with bacon and that bacon looks good because it's nice and crispy. I love crispy bacon. Um, so we're going to dig into this and enjoy it and then start to enjoy some of these views as we start arriving into Chicago here in the next few hours. People always ask me about the coffee on Amtrak, like what it's like. Now, if you're a super coffee snob, then you might not like it. It is good coffee. I think it's better than airline coffee in all honesty, and I've had both a ton. Um, so I would definitely go ahead and get it. Don't skip it, because it is pretty good. Got our jackets on. It is cold here in Chicago, so it's yeah. May, but it's cold. <laughs> and it's time for dinner, so we have a choice. We've got about mm -hmm. five places to choose from. We've mm -hmm. got Portillo's, mm -hmm. Hot Dogs, mm -hmm. Giordano's, mm -hmm. Al's Beef, mm -hmm. Gino's East Pizza, mm -hmm. and Lou Malnati's Pizza. Ooh, boy. So I think, I know which one I want. I think on the count of three, we should both say which one we want. I hope it's the same one. Okay. okay. So, do you know what you want? <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Al's, Al's beef. beef. Ah! <laughs> Al's beef it is, unanimous. <laughs> so, let us know if that would have been your choice and if that would have been unanimous at your house. So, we're going to Al's beef. Gonna get some beef.
Pet Al's beef did not disappoint. That was amazing. My advice to you is grab a lot of napkins, <laughs> get the big one, and just have a great time. Uh, definitely stop by here. If you've not been to Al's Beef, you have to do this. Uh, if you have been, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. That was amazing. The obligatory Chicago skyline pictures are being taken right now. All right, we are at Cloud Gate, uh, known as the Bean here in Chicago. It almost, from this angle, which is my favorite angle to take a picture, it almost looks like it's uh, like a snow globe. It's really cool, but this is my favorite angle of all the angles to, to take a picture here at the Bean. But this is one of the most iconic places to take a super touristy picture, but how can you resist? Chicago dog here in Chicago. I didn't get everything on it though because I just wanted mustard. Uh, so this is one of the things you need to eat when you're in Chicago along with some pizza from Gino's East or Giordano's and some Italian beef, preferably from Al's. Okay, so we are on day, I think this is day three of our trip from New York City to Los Angeles. We are in Chicago's Union Station. We're gonna hop on the California Zephyr and that's gonna take us all the way across to Emeryville, California. All right, we are boarded on the California Zephyr. We're upstairs in room number two, um, and we are excited to be taking off from Chicago here. Uh, we'll give you guys a tour here in just a little bit. Okay, this is our very first fresh air break. We are in Galesburg, Illinois, um, just a few hours from having left Chicago on the California Zephyr. Um, we also, before we got off the train, we ordered our dinner because we're gonna eat in our train car tonight in our room. So I'm um, excited about that. Looking forward to dinner. We'll share that with you guys in just a few minutes.
Okay, we are ready for dinner here. And um, as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna have it here in our room and just enjoy the evening from here. Other meals we'll have in the dining, in the dining car. And that's the nice thing is you can always make a choice as to where you wanna eat your food. If you wanna enjoy it in your room, you don't feel like going to the dining car, you don't have to go. Or if you wanna go, then you can. So here is what we have. I'm having the lobster crab cake and I've had this before and I will not lie to you, it is quite delicious. For my main meal, I'm having the salmon um, with some rice and some veggies and that looks really good too. I've had that one before. It's been a little while since I've had it so I'm super excited about that. And then my absolute favorite is carrot cake and Amtrak's carrot cake meets and exceeds my expectations of what a carrot cake should be like. So I'm having that. Now Rob, and this may come as a huge surprise, is having meat and potatoes. <laughs> so this is the signature flat iron steak, and he's got some green beans and carrots, which I'm pretty sure he'll share most of with me. And then he's got a baked potato with his. For his dessert, I did this in backwards order, he's getting the green chili tamale. And then for dessert, he's got the chocolate tort. This is actually his first time actually eating the chocolate tort as uh, we have tried to get it numerous times <laughs> and have not succeeded and we finally got it. So yay, he's gonna be excited to eat that. And then we've got our drinks. You do get one alcoholic beverage per person per ride. So it's not every single day and you do have to consume it or get it at dinner. You can't get it at breakfast or lunch. <laughs> um, so there's that and then of course you can have water and any any other uh, soft drinks that you like so we're gonna dig in here i'm gonna dig into this lobster crab cake because i'm super excited about it and i'm excited about everything i got but the other cool thing is we are about to cross the mississippi river so we're gonna be eating while we go over the river and that is going to be really cool as well Atumwa, iowa that is where we are stopped here there's a crew change I just like to say a Iowa. We always get off here. The last time we, <laughs> the last time we rode this train and we stopped here, some boys ordered a pizza or like a bunch of pizzas. It was kind of funny. Ordered some pizzas and they picked them up here at the met the delivery driver here at the station and had some pizzas. So that was kind of funny. But this is a nice quick, a nice break you get because there is a full crew change and you got a few minutes to walk up and down the platform here, which is nice. Stretch your legs, get some fresh air uh, before we head to Nebraska. It is about 11.30 at night and end of day one is here. Ellie is already asleep and I'm about to go to bed. I think everyone in our car is asleep. Don't hear any noise, but tomorrow is the big day. So everyone's sleeping because we get to Denver at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Once we leave there at about 8 o'clock, uh, that's when the beautiful scenery starts. We go through all the canyons of Colorado. So I'm about to go to sleep so I can be up for that. So lights out and good night. pulled into Denver. It is 7.30 in the morning and this is a little bit longer stop always. Uh, we're here till 8.05 so we got about 35 minutes here. So we're gonna stretch our legs, walk around and get prepared because after this we're heading into the gorges of Colorado and it's gonna be the most beautiful section of railroad track in the United States. So we're super excited for that. Get over there and see what that looks like today.
So please help us out and do us a favor, folks, if you can, um, to help keep those smelly diesel fumes in the tunnel and outside the train. We do ask that uh, inside the tunnel, everyone remain inside the same car. Once again, folks, uh, inside the tunnel, we do ask that everyone remain in the same car to help uh, keep those smelly diesel fumes out of the train. Moffat Tunnel coming up here in about 10 minutes. We're on day four of this trip from New York to LA and we started out with 70 degree weather in New York. Shorts and t-shirts and now we're in Colorado. Day four and look at this, just amazing. We should have brought skis with us I think. <laughs> All right, we're stopped here at Fraser Winter Park. Got out and as you can see, there's some snow around here on the ground, so I had to get my jacket back out. Um, but we're stopped here for a few minutes, fresh air break, and then we're gonna be seeing a lot of pretty stuff here in just a little bit, so don't go away. Time to get back on and Alex still has a snowball.
So we've made a stop here in Glenwood Springs after all the pretty stuff, um, unloading and loading some people here. So we came out here, it's another fresh air break and it's always good to enjoy. However, um, I'm wearing this cardigan, should have worn my jacket, it's a little bit cool out here, but it is nice to get the fresh air. While we're here in Glenwood Springs, wanted to update you on what the price of this trip was. That's a big question people always have. And we paid $563 for this three day, two night uh, trip on, in a roomette. And the way we got that price was we booked really, really early, at least six months ahead of time. And we had a companion coupon that we had previously, so that knocked the price down a little bit further. And so that's what we paid, $563. That's about as good as you're gonna get. I don't think I've ever seen this cheaper even during the buy one, get one sale. So uh, yeah, my advice to you, if you wanna get a good price, just book as early as possible. We're here in Grand Junction. We've got a crew change going on, all kinds of fun activities. There is a little store over here, um, over my shoulder, where you can buy snacks, sandwiches, salads, um, sundry items, anything like that. This is a good stop for that. Little stretch of your legs and nice time to get off the train. And when you do stop here, if you don't need to go to the store, you can check out this old train station behind us here. Grand it's Union. What's it say? Grand Union Depot. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. It is... It's cool. It'd be amazing if they restored that. That's a beautiful building. Yeah, it's really cool to check out. So that's something to look at if you don't need to shop. All right, dinner in Utah. Started off really well. I had the tamale. Now I'm having this flat iron steak. I got it cooked medium tonight, which is... Under all that sauce, you really can't see it. Let's see how it is. <laughs> Uh, very good. Mm, that's a good steak. I'm glad that everyone at my table got the same thing I did so they won't try to take any of mine tonight. <laughs> okay, so Rob got the flat iron steak with the baked potato. I got it with the polenta because I always like to be different than Rob. So let's try it out. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. The polenta is so creamy, and I think it's got cheese in it. It might, it might be like cheddar polenta or something, but ooh, that is good. Mm. Yum, yum. Okay, we woke up here last day, arrival day. We are in Reno, Nevada for a fresh air break. Walking around the platform here for just a few minutes. We'll get back on, continue to enjoy the views through Nevada and into, uh, we'll be going over Donner Pass today as well. So there's still good views today to look at. So make sure um, to stay here because I've got some great views of Donner Pass coming up soon. We were so close to getting in on time, and as you heard, we've been blocked by freight trains just a few hours outside of Emeryville. We were actually scheduled to get in 42 minutes early, but now there is a freight train ahead of us that has the, the crew of it can no longer work, so they're waiting on a new crew to arrive. So we're gonna actually go in reverse to the last station, get on some different tracks, and then try to go forward. So 
we have switched seats. Sally is now in my seat <laughs> over there. So she will be facing forwards as we go backwards. Well, we had a little bit of a delay, as you heard Rob telling you, but we did make it to Sacramento. We got just a couple minutes here, so we're gonna do a quick lap around the platform, jump back up on the train, and we'll be ready to roll into Emeryville in about an hour-ish, I think. Day five is in the books. We are here in Emeryville, close to San Francisco. And tomorrow, we're hopping on the Coast Starlight to make it to LA in six days. For now though, we're gonna go grab some dinner, find our hotel and get checked in. This menu is so cute, it's a newspaper. <laughs> train station and there's a, a nice little point you can walk out on when you're here and we're walking out to this park to see the views of San Francisco it's quite beautiful the sun is about <laughs> to set Everything you could ask for at this location. We've got beautiful flowers right in front of us. We have San Francisco off in the distance. We can actually see the Golden Gate Bridge with our bare eye. And then you've got a beautiful marina back here. The sun is setting right over that. So this is about a 20 minute walk from where the hotels are by the Amtrak station. Mm -hmm. And I think well worth it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, this is it final day of our trek across the country we are arriving into los angeles in just a few hours we'll be hopping on the coast starlight it will take us down there and we will be finishing up our journey in this lovely lovely country on the train and uh, they were still serving breakfast so we ran over here real quick sat down and grabbed some breakfast so we're enjoying that as we're leaving uh, San Francisco area and arrived here into the Oakland area and we'll keep going on south all right we are settled on the coast our light so excited today we hopped on they were closing down breakfast like five minutes later so we ran down there now we got to our room which is room two and the good news is we're going to be on the good side because the good side is the west side so traveling south we're in room two that was the good side i don't know if it's always going to be that way but that's how it is today so we're excited for those views later but i was going to give you a quick uh, catch up on what we paid for this trip we paid 202 dollars total for the room at for two people and that was a pretty good deal i think we used like a, a companion coupon to get that down from about 250 or so now we're we're not staying the night on this train so we're only using it for like daytime use we're not going to be sleeping overnight but we do get all the meals and we get our own private viewing window so that was pretty good when i looked at the co the cost of business class or coach class it was gonna be about the same price to do that so we just said we'll do this and uh have a little of our own space to view from and it's gonna work out great
Okay, so we are stopped at a fresh air break here in San Luis Obispo and our train car is having a little bit of trouble with the air. So it's quite toasty. So this is a true fresh air break for us because it is much cooler out here than it is in the train, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> but we're getting ready to hit the most beautiful part of the yes. ride. So, so we're pumped. We're excited about that. Also, you guys got to see this. I got to show you this. So Rob has what we call convertible pants. They're pants, but they're also shorts. And this is how warm he got. <laughs> He switched into his shorts. <laughs> ah, okay, so we're getting some beautiful views here. You can eat in the dining room, but today because we're in a room where you're getting these views that you can see out the window, we thought let's not risk it since we can see it from our room. We might as well enjoy our dinner and enjoy these gorgeous views out the window. So I picked the salmon, the Atlantic salmon. Look at how nice and crisp that looks with a nice uh, salad here quinoa salad and ancient grains we've got some green beans and some carrots and this sauce is i've had this one before and it's just really good mm, that sauce is real good and then they also gave us a roll today they don't always give you a roll but we got a roll as well so let me take a bite of this salmon which I already know is good, but let's do it anyways and just make sure that it's still good. Mmm. Oh. You're not gonna beat that. Eating a delicious meal and enjoying these gorgeous views. All right, for my main entree, I did pick the Amtrak steak, the potato, there's some crispy onions, carrots, and green beans. And they also did give me a roll. So let me try this here. I've ordered it medium tonight. Look at these views out here. It's just, this is an amazing way and place to eat dinner. So, hmm. That was really good steak and it's cooked really well. It's very tender. So I know the potatoes are good on here. They're soft. Sometimes potatoes you, you get on like an airline wouldn't be soft. Uh, but these are really good. Steak is excellent. So we're going to enjoy these views and enjoy the rest of this meal. All right, we're catching another fresh air break, which we need. It's really quite lovely out here. We are in Santa Barbara and we are, we've seen some good views. We got some even better views coming up. The best views guys are between Santa Barbara and Oxnard. 
so make sure you do at least that portion of this trip and you will get the very best views that the coast starlight has to offer so you're on these trains for a long time when you get these fresh air breaks take them move your legs stretch out a little a little bit so you don't retain a bunch of water sitting around eating a bunch of stuff i did see one guy brought his jump rope he was out here doing a jump rope we like to walk quickly up and down the platform and i've also seen people um, jogging up and down the platform so there's lots of different things that you can do to get moving when you get out here there's rob he's jogging past me <laughs> Alexa brought us to Lake Hollywood Park and on this side of the park you have a view of the Hollywood sign and on this side of the park you have a view of downtown LA so pretty great place to come. And on this side of the park you have a view of Alexa. <laughs> This is a really cool train car behind me. It is the oldest red trolley car still in existence and it serves as the restaurant. So that is where we got to eat our meal and it was quite an experience. All right, so we had a great meal here at the Formosa uh, Cafe. It is the oldest Chinese restaurant here in West Hollywood. If you come to this area, you absolutely have to eat here. It's been around since the late 1930s. It is iconic here, and a lot of the old stars would come and visit and eat here. All their pictures are inside and signed. So put this on your list of places to visit. It is a must, and it is absolutely delicious. <laughs> 